So before we dive into today's build, uh, we're just going to take a quick look at our mod list. Yes, mods are here. <laughs> and I'm going to be more excited to uh, start uh, playing with mods in City Skylines too. So um, yeah, just a small list. Um, I think we've got uh, Move It here, uh, Anarchy, Line Tool, Tree Controller, uh, Better Bulldozer, Water Tools, and uh, Find It, and the Extended Road Upgrades. And then just some of the dependencies here. Nothing too crazy. And uh, yeah, couldn't be more excited to get started with modding. So in the last episode, we uh, finished off here with building this little bridge uh, intersection thing on here. And uh, the bridge isn't connected yet, but uh, yeah, we've got this kind of whole area here with the highway, the interchange, the other highway here kind of running through. And we're going to be focusing in this area here. So we're going to be building uh, some infrastructure over to this area and then probably... Um, be trying to kind of focus in this area, but uh, we're gonna start out with some terraforming and I just want to slope up uh, Over to this area here. So we'll get our slope brush tool run this along and uh, just try and make this a little bit better there and um, Yeah, we're gonna kind of run the road up here So we'll grab our four-lane road here and hook into a good guideline here and uh, Maybe just turn on the train there and uh, get that connected there. And then we'll just use the uh, curve row tool and just make a small little curve. i turn the guideline off there. And uh, just try and kind of curve it towards this hill here the best we can, like so. And then we'll use the continuous tool and kind of run this road just up the hill. Uh, and we'll kind of keep it uh, close to the edge if we can, uh, right up to about there I think should do it. And then if we come into our roads here, we'll just place this little road here for a moment. And then in our road upgrades, we'll use the key upgrade and we'll just upgrade the uh, one side of the road here. I'll just close that menu, make sure I can see the right side. And uh, yeah, we'll run key wall all the way up to about here, like so. And then we'll just delete this little stub that we don't need anymore. And then we'll come into our train tools and just kind of flatten back towards the road, kind of exposing that key wall to kind of make this uh, nice retaining wall uh, up the side of the hill here. And uh, yeah, just kind of flatten this out a little bit to make a little bit of pad here as well uh, for uh, future building. And then we'll just kind of soften this out again a little bit just to make it look uh, nice like so. And maybe just soften this back as well. Just kind of blending the train back in. We'll even do a little bit up here. <laughs> oh, I might actually have to uh, slope this again. <laughs> and uh, this will be a little bit a little bit difficult to make look nice, but um, yeah, a few lumpy bumpies. Um, maybe we can get that fixed here a little bit later, or we do have Move It now. Let's see if Move It can <laughs> help us out at all. Uh, this is the alpha version, so we don't have as many features as we did in City Skylines with uh, setting things to the same height, uh, but we can try and sort of make some little adjustments here or there, but maybe I'll just uh, take that section out and see if I can get this fixed manually. And just kind of hook this back into uh, this section here. We'll grab our curved tool and just kind of try and curve it into that guy line if I can find it. <laughs> uh, maybe there. Uh, maybe we'll try continuous. No, complex. Yeah, complex. Maybe I'll get it nice and curved in a little bit better. And uh, yeah, that looks uh, a little bit better. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll get some of this terrain just softened a little bit and uh, flatten that back a little bit again if I use the right tool. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll fix this off camera real quick and then come right back to ya. All right, that's looking a lot better. <laughs> so um, yeah, so we'll come up here and uh, let's get some more of our roads laid out. So we'll grab our four lane road again and um, yeah, switch to continuous and we'll just run this road along here on this edge a little bit I think will be nice and then yeah to there and then we'll kind of bring it right to about here I think and then we'll leave it there because uh, we'll connect it up uh, a little bit later or in another episode and we'll just grab another collector and kind of run it straight off to here as well and we'll let that dead end and then I'd like to run another one up this uh, hill here so We'll uh, grab our slope train again, right click there, and then just kind of slowly work our way up the hill. Kind of make ourselves just a little bit of a pad. And uh, yeah, we'll get this nice and smoothed out for us. And 
I want to run it kind of right close to the hill, but not quite up to it. So, um, just <laughs> helps if I use the right tool, of course. But uh, yeah, grab continuous. I will just work it down the hill as well, and uh, probably hook it right back into this other collector if it'll work. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll get this hooked up there, and then I think we'll grab yeah, let's grab some roundabouts. We'll place one here and one there as well. And uh, that'll just help with some of our traffic flow. And then, yeah, maybe we'll continue this road over here. So we'll grab this road again. We'll keep it running um, all the way down this hill a little bit, maybe to there. How's that slope? Uh, I think this is uh, maybe a little, starting to get a little steep there. So let's bring it back to about there. Then we'll just curve it around this hill nicely and uh, we'll probably stop it right about there and then yeah we'll hook that up a little bit later I think um, or possibly yeah maybe in the next episode depending on how our build goes for today but um, yeah I think that'll do for the roadway networks uh, kind of in this area and then we'll kind of work our way back over to here uh, we just have one more road to get hooked up in so we need to hook this road into our uh, collector here so we'll come up and grab a one lane one way one way road can't say it ever <laughs> and use our uh, complex curve and we'll just try and curve it around and um, run it into the road here down below uh, so we'll get that maybe to there and then grab the guideline if we can perfect and then straight into this road there and uh, yeah, I think that should work. Um, is it a little funky over here? Maybe um, I might just have to do with the terrain more than tearing. Um, yeah, probably the terrain. So let's see if we can maybe just soften it out a little bit. Um, or maybe even it's a shadow. <laughs> Not entirely sure. But um, yeah, maybe we'll use uh, this. Um, asymmetric road there as well just to give us an exit lane and then we'll clean up the uh, lights and crosswalks there and looks like I forgot ones over here again so I was retrying some stuff earlier so uh, off camera so maybe I'll just get this fixed up here while while I see it as well and then uh, yeah I think I think that'll do um, I don't know I don't know if I like that road there <laughs> to be honest um, let's just see if we shift it a little bit. Does that work a bit better uh, coming out of that view? Yeah, I think that should should be okay. Um, and then while we're here, why don't we grab some of the trees and we'll put the trees up this road as well. Make it look nice and pretty. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll upgrade where we can. And uh, that way, hopefully no one will park on these roads as well. We'll also run it just down this uh, road here and then we'll get the grass as well to make it really look nice and run it all up this uh, bridge here and uh, we'll get the trees thrust away eventually <laughs> we'll get the grass uh, done on uh, both sides here as well all right so I'd like to start up in this uh, area here so we'll grab a road and uh, turn on our contours and um, I just want to kind of make a little bit of a small neighborhood up here to start. So we'll get a little road going uh, just to kind of get the start of a uh, little cul-de-sac neighborhood. And then we'll grab the alley and just run a couple roads off of that as well. So we'll grab that all the way over to there. And then I want to kind of run one right along the edge here if I can. But uh, let's get one here as well just to kind of see how this will work um, and we'll connect the road in to that alley for now like so and then um, oops wrong button <laughs> I'm going the developer UI and uh, let's just look for um, look for our row houses here if I can figure out how to find them um, I do have my it so <laughs> work better <laughs> so we can search through here uh, so we'll search for our row um, North America row housing 
and we'll kind of just see what we have in here. And uh, let's see, let's grab uh, level one, one by five. And we'll just place maybe one there. And let's see how that kind of looks. Yeah, I think that's kind of kind of the vibe I'm going for. So we'll place kind of a bunch here. And um, yeah, I just kind of want to get uh, an idea of what I want to place here. Uh, I think these are looking pretty good, but I just want to get something also up close to the edge. So uh, why don't I just kind of dip into a little bit of a time lapse. Uh, we'll work on that and then I'll come back with you guys when it's done. So I'm happy with this roadway configuration, but I want to just block this uh, zoning back here so we get some fuller tiles. And uh, this way we can use the uh, longer buildings and they'll kind of be the similar height to the ones behind. So plopping these here. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, how that is looking from the different angles around here. So um, what I think I will probably do now is uh, we'll just jump into a bit of a time lapse. We'll uh, build more out of this neighborhood and uh, then we'll come back and uh yeah we'll really just kind of flesh it out and uh go with the flow <laughs> and uh, try and fill it in as much as we can we do need a lot of uh a lot of uh housing through this area so <laughs> we'll get started on that <laughs>
right, so I've really actually enjoyed how this uh, area has come together. Yeah, um, wow, modding. <laughs> uh, what a difference uh, it's really been making in our city. So um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it took me a while. I was really slowly kind of building and, and detailing, but um, yeah, just, you know, really pleased with um, how this area has come together with the row housing facing out over the uh, cliff side here. We kind of just come around to this side, check out this view as well. It's uh, a really nice little uh, neighborhood. And um, yeah, I want to further expand it, but I uh, just uh, kind of wanted to step out of the little time lapse. And uh, um, yeah, I know it's probably a bit of a shorter one, or maybe it ran a little long. I can tell I was getting lost in the details. But yeah, I think what we'll probably do is kind of just further expand onto um, this side over here and uh, we'll kind of get some more services going I will just come out of that view um, I did off camera as well just a uh, side note uh, put down districts everywhere now because um, oh god warning symbols um, no medical supplies oh boy okay uh, um, just because yeah I was having issues with the coverage and I guess it's still not quite functioning properly um, yeah I was trying to run each sort of clinic in its own area because I was having so many issues with um, ambulances not popping up. But uh, yeah, anyways, we'll see if I can get that sorted out. But uh, it was also because I knew we were going to be building this area over here, and uh, naturally, just our resources are going to be a little stretched. So I didn't want uh, all, you know, <laughs> everything trying to cover everywhere. So we'll get this little uh, neighborhood here put down and. Um, yeah, we'll kind of finish building it off. Uh, we'll put uh, probably some schools over here, uh, education-wise. Yeah, maybe we'll put down another high school and see if we can get some more people attending as well. And uh, yeah, really just kind of continue on working what uh, we've been building on this side.
uh, could not be more happy to uh, have this area really starting to uh, come together. Yeah, um, gonna be honest, I'm still <laughs> jet lag from traveling back, guys, so I'm struggling to commentate on uh, today. But um, overall, pretty happy with how this area is coming together. Again, just a lot of mix of row housing and uh, low density housing as well. We have a few gaps in here, but it looks like um, yeah, we can maybe fill them in if we just use a little, some paths uh, to sort of um, change the zoning a little bit. Um, I did kind of make my own little park here and then just added the outdoor gym uh, as well. So um, yeah, we need a few more services as well in this area. So let's take a look at those real quick. Um, just trying to think of where a good place to build those would be. So we do have somewhat police coverage, although the police helicopter keeps coming over here. Um, so it might be better to have our own uh, police station. So let's just take a look at our contours here. And uh, again, you know, I am working with a little bit of difficult terrain, but we do have this kind of whole area over here we also need to <laughs> build in. Um, so maybe, yeah, let's just place this down. Um, We'll rotate it a little bit and we'll place that there for now and then we'll also while we're here we'll grab some death care so we'll get a cemetery and uh, we'll do the same thing we'll keep our snapping off and we'll place this uh, maybe we can just kind of place it right up next to the police station back here we'll have a little bit of a services complex and I'm just looking at the train back there let's actually line it up maybe down let's do halfway right about there uh, that should work nicely and then let's just look real quick our wind flow does head that way hmm. uh, we probably won't need a crematorium here and then fire protection as well um, is something that we are going to need so let's place that just off on the side over here and then we'll grab our two lane road and we'll place that in front there and we'll place another one along this building here and then let's get one into the fire hall and then let's see how we can kind of get these connected up and this one might be a little bit challenging um, but we might be able to just use a little bit of move it and sort of slide that over and then can we grab both of these nodes at the same time as that function? Ah, holding shift. Okay, so that function is available. So we'll place that road there. And then we should be able to just connect these straight in instead, like so. And then we'll just come down and hook into this road here. And actually just, just go straight through. We'll do a connection there. And then we can also do another one into this collector here, like so. So, and then we've got ourselves a little bit of a services complex, and this is complaining, so maybe we'll just grab that, <laughs> snap it back to the road, and there we go. It should be happy with us now. So, and um, we'll leave roads around there for now. And uh, what I think I'll do, guys, is just because I'm having a bit of trouble, um, is I'll just go back into another building time lapse, and we'll kind of do that a lot today, and I'll pop back in and kind of go over what we've done. And uh, yeah, appreciate it.
I'd say I'm pretty overall happy with how this area has come together. Um, I decided to do row housing here because it actually uh, does pretty well with the slope terrain in this area. So I'm actually really pleased with how this is looking and then just put some tree detailing in behind and then put a lot of services down. We have welfare office, police, fire, uh, death care as well. So and then just a little bit of office and high density commercial and some mixed use over here as well. Uh, so yeah, pretty pleased with how this whole area is uh, coming together. Alright, so we have one final little area here that we'll try and uh, fill in for today's episode. So I think what we'll do is we'll just do a little bit more terraforming. So we'll start with some smoothing. And then we do have some flat area here. And so I'm thinking we'll try and put in a bit of a sportsplex and... Uh, community center. So let's see, we have our soccer field. Let's come out of this view. So let's get, maybe we'll place it there on the road and then just back it up so it's nice and straight. And we'll place, we'll place two side by side. And I'm um, also just remembering that I wanted to put in a high school here. So let's also grab one of those. Again, we'll come out of that view, and we also forgot the elementary school, so <laughs> uh, maybe we'll try and get both of those uh, in here as well. So let's tuck the high school in right next to the field. Let's put that there. And then maybe if we can place the elementary school back here, and this can be like a sports education complex instead. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's get the elementary school placed maybe right about there. Then we'll kind of see what we can do for roads if we can kind of get away with running one maybe just down the middle so we'll take off snapping to a side of building and just see if this sort of makes these buildings happy that is connected there and then can we sort of just get something here by maybe using the complex curve I'll try and snap it to the side of this building here. Like so. And then we can take this straight down here. And I think that just needs a little bit better there. So we have those in. Um, let's see, we're gonna need a lot of parking. So let's take this road to there. And then maybe if we just use some paths to get the zoning off of their road here. And then we can place in small parking lot here. We'll put another one on the other side there. And then we actually have all this space down here as well. So let's grab maybe a large one and we'll put those kind of side by side. And those don't seem to connect but um, maybe let's let's replace that with the medium one because I like how those kind of connect up into larger lots so let's do that instead and we'll just place three along here and then we can grab another road uh, in behind and maybe we'll just run an alley along the back here if I could see where the road was or the parking lot was sorry like so and then let's get hmm okay let's get rid of this parking lot so I want to make sure we get some of the upgrades here so we'll place the playground oops excuse the alarm one sec <laughs> all right sorry I had to tend to my oven <laughs> so we got our playground down there as well and then yeah I think what we'll do is maybe we'll just grab the forest brush uh, let's do multiples and let's put some evergreens and we'll do some old and young and we'll just kind of span some trees back in that we kind of covered up and uh, just kind of fill this in and uh, let's also get some other row connections through here we'll kind of run it in behind and it shouldn't be too bad traffic wise because I don't think it'll be fast enough for people to want to use it as a cut through so we'll just run that down to about there and then if we can get our curve road tool find that guy maybe do what I say <laughs> and find that guideline uh, 
right about there. Curve that road into there. So there we go. We have that connected. And then um, what else do we have that we could maybe place down? We do have the community pool. That would be fun to maybe just place over here on its own. And then when it snows, they can all freeze. <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll just do... Uh, we can fit a tennis court here, so we can fit a few more sports parks in. We can do maybe a skate park. Let's come out of this view again. Take off our snapping to road and just seeing maybe where we can angle that in there. And then maybe get in a few basketball courts as well. Yeah, nothing too crazy. And then we'll just maybe run a few paths around here as well. So let's get one, let's get one up to the road here. And then maybe if we can take our continuous and just get something that kind of loops around like so. And then maybe we'll run one just straight through there. And yeah, keep it nice and simple. But uh, yeah, I actually kind of really like this. Um, maybe we'll see if we can find a fence. And what do we have? Let's go with... Let's check the North American residential fence piece high. What does that look like? No. There is a good one here. I just can't remember what it is. Maybe we'll just do trees instead for now. <laughs> I think the fences still don't really work the way way we would want to. So let's grab some trees and Can we turn that off. Do I know how to do that? I do not. Um, what is that? There we go. <laughs> still getting used to the mods as well. So uh, bear with me here. We'll bring this distance in just a little closer. We'll go into the curve and like run that there and then if you actually just hold shift it keeps going i think some people said it doesn't do that but uh, i believe it was in a biffa video that i saw that Maybe let's turn anarchy on for this so there you go there's pilot spawning tip <laughs> yeah so just a couple trees in there as well and then eventually we'll finish, uh, I think in a different episode, uh, getting these collectors hooked up uh, a bit better. Uh, I have a lot of big plans for this uh, this whole area. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think that'll kind of do it for today's episode. Uh, in the next one, we will probably build mostly some infrastructure. So we'll get this bridge fully connected finally. That'll be painful, but it needs to be done. And then we'll get this collector hooked into this road over here somewhere. We'll get this one hooked up over here. And then I wanna build in this area something kind of special if we can and start running some infrastructure across um, this way uh, for some other special building that I wanna do. But um, yeah, I really appreciate, oh, sorry, wrong button. <laughs> I really appreciate everyone, jet lag is real. <laughs> appreciate everyone being here uh, for today's episode and as we build our first sort of modded, lightly modded anyways, uh, neighborhood in City Skylines too. So uh, thanks again for watching. If you did like it, please consider liking and subscribing um, and maybe even leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. But otherwise, take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.